What's going on guys, it's Shu here, bringing you another review on Boruto. This episode, honestly, was just for nostalgia. I know it's filler, I know it's something that a lot of us are probably just kind of done with overall when it comes to all the filler. But for me, at this moment right now, I do appreciate some good Naruto uh, back in the day part one. Uh, honestly, I was very unappreciative of it. There's moments that I liked in part one of Naruto but looking back at it now I'm like man there was just some really good moments and what made this episode too was the OSTs man like hearing those throwbacks once again was rem reminiscent of like my younger days and it was just it was just cool man I, I just really enjoyed it overall but as far as the episode goes it was like your typical uh, back to the future kind of situation if you were to do anything, it could affect the future. So we got the turtle warning them, you know, be careful of who you're interacting with. Anything you could do will affect anything. And Baruto, like for some reason, just kind of disregards this warning and this starts acting up. We have him first trying to talk to Sakura. Sasuke's like all I guess he's kind of in a frenzy in this episode, if, I, if I'm going to be honest with you. He was all jittery about when it comes to Sakura. And it was kind of funny to see because, like, we saw in certain moments, like, the shock in Sasuke's face to see Sakura. Like, he knew that he wasn't allowed to interact. And it was funny the timing that they have, too, because they do arrive a few days prior to when Urashiki is supposed to arrive. But they arrive on the time... The day after Sasuke has abandoned the village or deserted the village, which is, I think, kind of ironic, you know, bad timing when it comes to that. But with Boruto acting up and like after Sasuke was basically telling him, look, man, we got to stop interacting with people. Uh, he yelled out at the fact that he saw Ichiraku's restaurant being so small at the time. There was no Thunder Burger for him. And... He bumps into Naruto. Like, things just get worse, and we see Sasuke just kind of having to wing it out at this point. I mean, had it been Sasuke, just him, it would have been a whole different situation. But now with Boruto, it's just... And meeting young Naruto, it, the similarities are just even more evident. Uh, and it, it was funny as well to see Boruto reacting to his first encounter to his father... He calls him out dad. He's like, what are you talking about? Well, who's dad? And Jiraiya uh, seeing what they would have normally done back in that day. Uh, Jiraiya was a hoot. And I always see debates on Facebook and I see debates on like Twitter. Be like, who do you want to bring back? And you know, there's always a, the, the typical five people. Like they have Itachi, they have Jiraiya, they have, um, what's his name? Uh, Neji, they have... Uh, Asuma and they have uh, uh, Naruto's dad, you know, just just you know, typical people. And it's like seeing Jiraiya again, I'm like, dang man, I wish you were still alive. But uh, we have Jiraiya forcefully as punishment along with Naruto to stay on watch of Boruto and Sasuke. They go with the alibi that they're performers, they are actually. I perform a little trickery. We see Boruto performing the sexy transformation jutsu, which, from what I saw in the community's reaction before the episode, that they really enjoyed it. It was like some people were like, "This does it more than what Naruto was doing it for me back in the day." I leave no comment on that, so I'll just leave it at that. But then we see Sasuke performing a little trick. Uh, Tsunade is a bit hesitant, of course, the situation which I said earlier with Sasuke deserting. So. Because they are foreigners or the traveling performers, they're having to be on watch. Uh, but Jiraiya ditches and saying this is part of the training that Naruto needs to have uh, since he's always bugging him about training. And we see Sasuke also dipping out because he doesn't want to interact with Sakura and just leave Baruto there. So since Baruto has no other choice, he actually goes home with uh, Naruto, he sees the, his childhood home, how things were there, uh, and he sees that things aren't as different when it comes to his food preferences. He continues to eat out of the cup noodles that he has since like, ever. Uh, he doesn't live with his parents. 
Uh, and it was a kind of a sweet moment where they were talking and we see Naruto just kind of excited to hear about, you know, someone and his father and, you know, just making him sad at the same time. But like I said, it was a pretty good episode, throwback, and there's going to continue on for this little filler arc. I don't know for how much longer, but I definitely enjoyed this episode, the funny moments that we got, and hopefully for next episode we get a little more serious. It looks like the Genin are getting back together, seeing for a mission, but we'll see. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below, and as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Nanda! Hmm? Okay! <laughs>